Hello everyone and welcome to another BCP library video. My name is Katie and today I'm going to show you how you can do some easy scratch art with just some black paint, something to scratch with and some old CDs or DVDs and this is a great way to upcycle and it's really easy and really effective. So these are my designs, I'm going to show you how I did them and show you how you can do it yourself really easily at home. So first of all you'll need some old CDs or DVDs, whatever you have, CDs or DVDs will work fine, and then you need to just cover the shiny side, which is the back of the CD, with some black acrylic paint. You might need to do more than one layer to get a nice even coat, and you need to make sure that each layer dries before you apply the next, because otherwise you'll just be moving the paint around and it won't work, it will just wipe it off. So I did about two to three layers and this is how they look, they're completely covered. And then you just need to find something to scratch with. You can use a pencil, I used a pencil for this one. And you just need to press hard with a sharp pencil and you'll easily be able to scratch the paint off. So for this one I am doing an underwater scene, I'm loosely drawing out the fish first and then pressing harder to scratch it off. And you just need to keep like blowing the excess bits of paint away and you'll be able to make a really cool drawing or pattern. You can do whatever you want to, you can do a mandala pattern. I'm not very good at doing mandalas so I didn't attempt it on this but that would work really well. You can maybe write something, draw whatever you want. This is my underwater scene and it is really effective because the metal shines through really really nicely and the black it gives a nice contrast and it's really shiny so you can hang it up in your window maybe. For this one I decided to draw a cat because I quite like drawing cats and I used a stitch unpicker to scratch this one and because it's a cat they have fur I decided to do quite a lot of texture and the scratch art works really well for animals because it's easy to get a nice fur texture. Maybe you want to do a portrait of your pet or a friend's pet or a family pet and give it as a gift. I just did the cat on the side because it was quite difficult to draw it in the middle because obviously the CD has a hole in it. But I'm just scratching the direction of the fur which is a very similar to if you draw on paper and also if you make any mistakes you can easily go over it again with a fine paintbrush and the black acrylic like I'm doing here. So here is my finished cat, I was really pleased with how this turned out, maybe you can draw a pet or an animal as well. So for this last one I decided to do two CDs together and I gave it a musical theme because they are CDs, we play music on CDs. So on this side I scratched out a treble clef and some musical notes and this took quite a long time to get it quite even so if you're doing thicker lines I would recommend using something a bit thicker because the stitch unpicker for this was a little bit fine and it was quite hard to get a even thick line so maybe you want to use something like a screwdriver. So here I am now just adding the notes to the musical stave and I'm just doing random notes, they don't have to look perfect, they don't have to look like musical notes, but I think this works really really well, it's really effective, the silver music on the black, I think this is probably one of my favourite ones because it just looks so bold and effective and also you get that rainbowy shine from the metallic CD as well, so it's not just silver, especially if you put it in the window. So once I had done this one I moved on to my next one and I wrote a quote on it and again I wrote it out in pencil first on the CD because you're going to scratch it off so just lightly write out or draw your design in pencil and then you can scratch over it and you won't see it when it's done. So the quote that I chose was without music life would be flat and I used the B flat sign but you can always look up some nice quotes online, there's always websites that you can find some inspirational quotes, maybe you're into sport, maybe you're into animals, maybe you're into cooking, you can adapt these designs to fit with you. So I'm just finishing off this one now and again I'm using the stitch on picker. I think this was my favourite thing to scratch with. I did try several things, I think the pencil was quite good and a needle but they can be a little bit thin but the stitch on picker worked really well but you can just have a look around, rummage around your home to see what you can find. So once I had done both of the CDs I decided to stick them together, I added a little bit of string with beads at the top because I wanted to hang it up. So I just used some hot glue and put it all over the back of one of the CDs making sure they were both the right way up and they matched so one wasn't upside down. And then once I had glued I quickly put the CDs together like this and you do have to work quite quickly with hot glue if you're using super glue or another kind of glue then it doesn't matter too much about working quickly but with hot glue you need to work quite quickly. 
and then once it was ready it would hang nicely and it would twist around and this would look really quite nice in a window if you stuck two of your designs together so it can rotate and then reflect off the sun because at the moment we're having some very nice weather so it would look nice in the window or maybe in your garden so those are my designs and they were very very easy to do so now it's your turn to go and maybe find some CDs or DVDs at home and find some black paint and make your own CD scratch art.